Hey everyone, let's look at voltage division rule today. Voltage division is a method which is used to determine the voltage across individual components in a series circuit. Here's the example of a series circuit. It's the same circuit which we looked at yesterday to understand KVL. So in this circuit, we have three resistors, 10, 20 and 30 ohms connected end to end, supplied by a 12 volt voltage source. In a series circuit, the voltage is divided between each component based on the resistances. We are going to arrive at a formula which will be called as the voltage division rule, which can be simply applied to any series circuit to find out the voltage drop across any component. So the voltage across a component would actually be proportional to its resistance. In order to arrive at that formula, let us mark the voltage drops. So I'll call this as VR1, the drop across R1, VR2 is the drop across R2 and VR3, the drop across R3. Considering that the current is entering R1, R2 and R3 in this direction, I'd call that as I and leaving R3 and coming back. So yesterday we saw that I is actually V source divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. Because this is a series circuit, all the resistors are connected end to end. So the total resistance of the circuit would be given as R1 plus R2 plus R3. We can now find out VR1 by applying Ohm's law. VR1 would be I into R1. Similarly, VR2 is going to be I into R2 and VR3 would be I into R3. Here, in this equation, if I substitute the value of I as V source by R1 plus R2 plus R3, what do I get? I get VR1 is equal to V source by R1 plus R2 plus R3 into R1. Similarly, we get VR2 as V source by R1 plus R2 plus R3 into R2 and VR3 is given as V source by R1 plus R2 plus R3 into R3. In order to find the general formula, let's try to find the pattern over here. So if you want to find the voltage drop across resistor R1, then we need to divide the total voltage by the sum of resistances and multiply that by the resistor across which we want to find the voltage drop. That is, if we want to find out VR1, then the formula would be V source divided by the sum of resistances into R1. For VR2, it will be V source by sum of resistances into R2. And for VR3, it's V source by sum of resistances into R3 and so on. So we can generalize it as the voltage drop across resistor X would be V source by the sum of resistances into that particular resistor Rx. So let's solve this uh, circuit uh, to find out say Vr2. So Vr2 would be the total voltage divided by the sum of resistances 10 plus 20 plus 30 multiplied by the resistor across which we want to find the voltage drop. So I want to find the voltage drop across R2. So the value of R2 here is 20 ohms. So Vr2 is now going to be 12 
into 20 divided by 60. So that would be 4 volts. So this is 4 volts. Similarly, we can find the drop across VR1 and VR3. VR1 would be 12 by 60 into 10, which is nothing but 2 volts. And VR3 would be 12 by 60 into 30. which is 6 volts. So adding up all the drops, VR1 being 2 volts, VR2 we found it out to be 4 volts and VR3 is 6 volts. So when we add it up, it actually comes to 12 volts. So the voltage uh, 12 volt source is dropped across all of the three resistors and it, it happens in the ratio of the value of the resistances. A simple application of voltage dividers is uh, voltage level shifting. For example, I have an adapter which can give me 12 volts, but I need to power a module which requires only 5 volts. So in that case, I can use these voltage divider circuits in order to take the 12 volts as the input, so the V over here is actually the input voltage, say 12 volts, and just ensure that the resistor across which I'm going to tap out my output to connect to uh, uh, my module, which requires the 5 volts, uh, is such that it taps out only 5 volts out of the 12 volts. So the drop across this V1 should be 5 volts. So in that way, I can design my R1, R2 and R3. So this is one of the applications of voltage dividers. It is also used uh, in, in uh, applications where we need to perform power supply regulation. It is used for signal attenuation. For example, if I want to have a, a lower amplitude of um, in uh, output when there is a high amplitude of input in that case i can go for voltage dividers uh, they are used majorly for biasing transistors let us now look at an example problem which i have taken from electric circuits book uh, from the shom series so here they say that a voltage divider circuit consists of two resistors they have given us the value of the total resistance of the two resistors. So that is given as 50 ohms. And they say that the output voltage is 10% of the input voltage. And they are asking us to find out the values of the two resistors. So here, this is our input V. And this is our output from where we are going to tap our voltage. So they have given us the value of R1 plus R2. Let us uh, now approach this problem using the voltage division formula. So we need to find out V1, which is given as V by R1 plus R2 into R1, because we need to find the voltage across R1. So here now, what are the things that we know? We know the value of R1 plus R2 is 50 ohms. We also know that the output voltage is 10% of the input voltage, which means V1 is 10% of the input voltage V. So what is V1 by V? It turns out to be 0.1. So if we know the ratio V1 by V over here, we can substitute that with the value 0 0.1. So we can rewrite this equation in that manner. So we can rewrite this as V1 by V equal to R1 by R1 plus R2. Over here, we know the value of V1 by V to be 0 0.1. 
and the value of R1 plus R2 is 50 ohms. So this simply boils down to 0 0.1 into 50 because we can cross multiply this over here is equal to R1. So we find the value of R1 to be 5 ohms. If we know the value of R1, we can easily find the value of R2 because we know that R1 plus R2 is 50. So R2 would be 50 minus R1 which would be 45 ohms. So over here we have found out R1 to be 5 ohms, R2 to be 45 ohms and because we have designed the value of these resistors in this manner, whatever we give the input as, the output would always be 10% of that. So that's it for this video on voltage division rule. I hope this video was uh, helpful to you. Please do subscribe to this channel for more such videos. Thank you for watching.